Fiction is about creating desire and stimulating curiosity. And that's exactly what cruise collections do best. Back in the 1920s, cruise collections were marketed to wealthy clients who escaped the European winter and headed to more tropical climes. And these mid-season collections still satisfy consumers' demand for novelty. Virginie Viard chose to reveal Chanel's 2022 cruise offering in Beau de Provence against a striking limestone backdrop. It's wonderful to be inside this luminous carrière. It's such a powerful place. There's so much history. It's a perfect setting for the show. The models looked so beautiful in their black and white outfits. It was really graphic. There's the inspiration that comes from Gabrielle Chanel, but there's also the inspiration that comes from Virginie, with that whole punk side of things. And you can see a lot of details, actually, that really draw a parallel between Gabrielle Chanel and Cocteau, who were good friends. Back in 1959, in the shadows of this quarry, Cocteau shot a number of scenes from his film Le Testament. D'Orphée. The designer and the poet filmmaker had a lot in common. It was an extremely affectionate relationship. I was very touched reading the letters Jean Cocteau sent to Gabriel Chanel. You get a sense of unconditional affection and also a sense of desire, fascination and reciprocal admiration. There was also artistic collaboration there. Gabrielle made the costumes for a number of his plays. She designed some of his clothes too. There was a real complicity there and I think that's very touching, almost magical. You can also see that same need today in Virginie, that need to be surrounded by other artists because it creates a really exciting environment. For me, working with Virginie is really such an honor because I get to witness how much she puts her soul into everything and how participative she is in every single change of every look. But I have to say that my favorite one is my second look, which is a white long dress. And it really makes me feel like an angel. Dior's cruise collection, headed up by Maria Grazia Curie, was revealed in an iconic location, the all-marble Panathenaic Stadium in Athens. It was here that the first modern Olympic Games were held in 1896. Today it's the stage for a reimagining of the peplum, a way of draping fabric to emphasize the elegance of the human form. The starting point was uh, to a dialogue between uh, Dior and uh, Peplum because Peplum is uh, completely a different idea to the rest of uh, Mr. Dior because uh, is um, a shape, is a dress that you can drape on your body in this very personal way. There is no size, no gender, so it's super modern. Uh, and at the same time, our heritage is a bar jacket, so a point of view that is completely different because Mr. Dior was an architectural designer, so he wanted to build the body, he wanted to define a body. Uh, we try, I, I try to translate uh, some element that I really appreciate uh, in this uh, kind of desk, like a peplum, because it's light, uh, it's easy to wear, also in something that is very traditional Dior, that is a jacket, so we realize also the bar jacket in silk that is very soft, uh, very comfortable, uh, less construction, and speak more about freedom. To further anchor her collection in the Athenian tradition, Maria Grazia Curie called upon the workmanship of Greek embroiderer Arist Cernovakis, notably for this reworking of Dior's mythical bar jacket. What we do is to link our heritage with the local heritage. So I think that we can do on the bar jacket this kind of uh, embroidery on top for, for the collection. The bar jacket had this kind of line, mm -hmm. and so it's like to emphasize uh, this part yeah, that is this really part, yeah. Dior. The original bar jacket was designed by Christian Dior himself in 1947. These buttonholes are inspired by waistcoats from the Greek islands. The pockets are used in fustanellas that come from the Greek mainland. Embroidery from the mainland is also used on the sleeve. I think it's okay. okay. After the embroidery comes the braiding, a crucial component of the sailor's hats on show, adorned with laurel motifs rendered in jacquard fabric. We really wanted to personalize this to make it very Dior. Uh, the braids are very important. 
this undoes and you can actually put it round your neck. So when the wind is blowing, it means you never lose your hat. And when they would come back from sea, the tradition is their wives would re-knot this braid here and put it back on their cap. So their cap became almost a lucky symbol for them, a symbol of home, uh, of hope, uh, happiness, of uh, family. Cruise collections can also be referred to as resort collections and are often unisex. For the youthful Italian brand Moschino, next spring is going to be one long celebration set against an irresistible 80s and 90s soundtrack. This film was directed by the American Jeremy Scott, the label's dynamic director. Whatever you call them, these mid-season collections are synonymous with adventure. They're a lot of work, but when people are so keen to escape for labels, they're a safe bet.